What's going on guys, it's Greg Misko Styes, and today we're going to dive into a controversial topic. Is the Gate D still legal? So you saw we did a review. Uh, we were really complimentary of their innovative design with the can opener. I think it's caught on really fast, but it's also caused a lot of chatter about is it legal or not? Uh, does it, you know, is it a problem for the sport? And so at the time of making the head, um, and as of, I've got the press release here from Gate, April 22nd. Uh, it says that the NCAA rules secretary, Willie Scroggs, probably did not pronounce that right, has informed uh, that there was a special committee meeting to discuss the head and that it does meet all specifications and would be allowed in NCAA games. Uh, this is as of April 22nd. And so a lot of players have been using it all summer. Uh, and then we get a press release again from, and this is a little complicated, but I believe how it works is the NCAA rules committee makes recommendations that the NCAA playing rules oversight panel then approves into actual NCAA rules. So in the press release uh, under equipment for 2023, this is how it reads. Beginning next season, the cross on the player's stick cannot have protrusions or sharp edges. The panel agreed with the men's lacrosse rules committee rationale to ensure the traditional shape of the head remains an integral part of men's lacrosse. So as far as I can understand this, that means that there is a rule for NCAA lacrosse in 2023 that heads cannot have protrusions or sharp edges. This is super vague, really hard to tell what it means, but let's talk about a couple things. Number one, this is only an NCAA rule. So most high schools and under go by NFHS rules. Some conferences, depending where you play, do follow NCAA. It does tend to happen that the college rules get trickled down to NFHS, but for the time being, NFHS has not commented on this, but the NCAA has. Um, and so let's let's look at the gate D. So they say protrusions or sharp edges. Uh, that's what you're looking at here, the little hook. Um, I guess you would qualify that as a protrusion or sharp edge. This rule did not specifically say that the gate D is illegal. It specifically said that protrusions or sharp edges are legal. So it will be up to someone, I honestly don't know who, to determine if this qualifies as a protrusion or sharp edge. Common sense would say it would, and I believe this rule was directed at the gate D, but then we also have an example like the SDX X20. Um, not saying this head shoulder should not be legal under this new rule, but just as an example, this has maybe what you could qualify as sharp edges. You know, they called it the check plate, specifically meant for checking and grabbing onto the stick or causing pain, I don't really know, but, um, you could describe these as smaller protrusions or sharp edges. So there's a lot of gray area about what will and will not be legal. And they didn't really say how they were going to determine if it's just sort of a, the committee again deciding which heads are legal. And so I think this is where you get into a little bit of a tricky spot where if you have to go through every single head and decide if it has protrusions or sharp edges and where the line is and how sharp you could make this if you wanted to, I think becomes really, really tricky for the rules committee. And so you could see it moving towards women's lacrosse. So in women's lacrosse, every single head has to be specifically approved by a lab and specifically by name placed in the rule book as a legal head. Uh, right now there's so many men's heads and this hasn't been an issue, but I could see this rule being one where companies need to know if their head qualifies as having a protrusion or sharp edge. Um, and it has to be approved by somebody before it can be sold. So as of right now, uh, nobody has said the gate D is illegal. This is a rule for the 2023 NCAA season. And I think we'll have to wait and see if they clarify which heads are going to fall under this protrusion and sharp edge rule. And then we'll also have to wait and see if high school and youth adopt this rule as well, or definitely check with your local high school to see if you follow NCAA rules. So this is going to be a developing story. I think it's always a little difficult when the rules committee makes new rules like the shooting strings, like the width of the head back in 2010. It causes a lot of problems. And honestly, I feel a little bad for gate because I'll call them back. Honestly, I feel a little bad for gate when they designed this head. It was totally legal. They did it within all the rules and then they came back and said it was illegal. So I'm really interested to see how this all resolves. So let me know what you think in the comments. We'd love to have a discussion, answer any questions you have. Thanks for watching and have a great day. One answer.